The Gold Line Foothill extension to Azusa is on schedule to be completed in September 2015, when it will be turned over to Metro. As each of the six new light rail stations starts to take shape, the station artists are hard at work behind the scenes preparing the artwork that will make each station unique. Each artist, selected by their station city based on their experience and concept, is developing artwork that will represent the history and culture of their station's surroundings and community. In this video, you will meet the station artist for the future APU Citrus College station. My name is Lynn Goodpasture. I'm a public artist. This project is for the Azusa Citrus Light Rail Station on the Gold Line Foothill Extension. I did a lot of research for this project and was greatly helped by Jeffrey Cornejo, who is the historian for the city of Azusa. I learned that this particular piece of land where this train station will go has a long horticultural history. The artwork describes the plants and trees that were, that were on this property and gave it its character. As passengers approach the platform, they will first come to the Fan Palm Canopy. This is where you will buy your ticket, get your map, and proceed to the main platform, which is where the benches will be. The canopy will actually be 28 feet long, so this is in one quarter scale. Each of these fine lines divides what will be a piece of glass. The canopy well, look, this is an early model that I made, which, can you see that? Which sort of shows the effect of the light coming through the glass. The canopy is really an homage to the California fan palms, which line Palm Drive. This iconic approach to this property, these two parallel driveways, each lined with beautiful California fan palms. And so I wanted to memorialize the fan palms and, and, and honor them. From there, they will proceed to the main platform. And there you will see four benches embedded with mosaics, each one featuring a plant that has been associated with the land. These are the designs for the mosaics for the benches in chronological order. The first bench is the orange and honeybee bench. Henry Dalton was the first person to develop this property. He's thought to have been the first person to import oranges and honeybees to Southern California. The land was also owned by John Slauson, who established the Azusa Foothill Citrus Company. And uh, he was immensely successful. And eventually, his two daughters built ranchos on the site. And uh, my mosaic benches refer to both of those ranchos. One was called um, the Ranch of the Wild Hyacinths, and the other one was Ranch of the Western Sycamores. Later, the same land, this beautiful acreage, which goes up into the mountains, was owned by the Monrovia Nursery Company. And they are one of the most successful plant nurseries in the United States. The Monrovia Nursery propagated many plants, but the camellia was one of their most popular in the 50s. This will be the seat of the mosaic. It's about half scale, so it'll be about twice as large as what we're looking at here. And these will be placed on the side supports of the bench. And this is the California fan palm, which is also the motif used in the glass canopy. I love mosaic. I love the tactile quality of mosaic. In this particular case, the mosaics will be seated on. They will be on the benches. And the mosaic pieces will be made out of mosaic glass, which will be tumbled to soften the edges so that people can sit upon the benches without any, any problem. Each of those benches will be placed on a paving stone tapestry that I have designed. This will allow the passenger to easily see where the benches are because the paving stone tapestries will stand out from the field of paving stones. The color is different and the pattern is different. These yellow um, components are required by code so that when the train pulls up, people can see and step on this from the door. The local community, the people of Azusa, have been so supportive of this project and um, have always made me feel that I was on the right path. I hope very much that this artwork will trigger people's interest so that they will explore this property, the history of this property, and understand what went before. Watch videos about other station artists, learn more about the project, or sign up to receive construction updates at www.foothillextension.org.